Hey, hi guys. Uh, welcome to Electricity Market in India. So today's topic is something different from normal power sector videos which I make. One question which I have been asked over and above a lot of times is which are the good stocks to invest in power sector. And uh, being from this industry, I can uh, share some of my inputs and some of my feedback on some of the good companies which are there in power sector. Now, this video is definitely not a stock recommendation, but um, I will have give a disclaimer that the stocks which I am referring to, some of them I have in my own portfolio. So I may be a little bit biased in my recommendation, but I will try to give you the justification of why I am biased or why I am saying these companies are good. Now, the first talk which comes uh, in my mind, uh, which is doing pretty well in the market and which can do further better uh, from the uh, position which it has is Tata Power. Now, I have personally worked in Tata Power for 11 years, so I know the company in and out. Uh, the process is, it's a 109 years old company of Tata Group. Uh, it is present in the entire gamut of uh, power distribution, power generation, power transmission, power trading. Uh, when you name renewable power, uh, I think Tata Power is the pioneer of uh, setting up the renewable uh, power system in India, be it on the utility part or rooftop solar or distributed solar, anywhere it is there for very long and it uh, enjoys the dominant market share in this market. It's always on the top, uh, it's always in the top EPC player in the country if you refer to any reports or any rating agencies. Now, they are also venturing into a lot of uh, new age uh, energy business such as electric vehicles, uh, then you have the um, solar rooftops and they have the push from the central government like there are schemes like Prime Minister's solar rooftop schemes and there is Kusum scheme which is into feeder level distribution uh, power generation. So, Tata Power is in everything. Uh, they also have a asset on hydros which are good uh, uh, cash making uh, assets and and I think the Mundra issue is also resolved. So this this is a company where I personally have invested my career. I have started my career with Tata Power. I have seen the processes in and out. It's a very process driven company. It's a it has close to twenty two thousand employees working day in day out. So so a fantastic stock to have in the portfolio. And today it's quoting somewhere around 425 rupees when I'm making this video. I personally feel that this stock can go somewhere like 800,000 rupees in the next uh, uh, two to three years, who knows. So yeah, I mean, uh, so this is the f first stock which I wanted to mention. Apart from that, there are few good stocks which I, uh, uh, which I see in power sector. One of this is NHPC. NHBC, why? Because uh, at this moment, they have a 7 gigawatt of portfolio. Going forward, they have an ambition to make uh, 14 gigawatts of portfolio, so almost doubling their uh, size. Uh, they are also venturing into a lot of uh, pump storage hydros. Now, why pump storage are better than the conventional hydros is because the revenue and IR, the IRR potential of uh, pump hydro projects are immense because you basically pump the water in the off-peak time and release the water in the peak time so the delta margin you make is very high and hydro is a very uh, making a hydro project is very tough in india with the entry barrier so high uh, i think it is well suited uh, in a position where it it commands the position to uh, do these projects with a lot of ease than any newcomer who wants to venture into this market so nhpc is quoting somewhere around 90 that is also I feel uh, the P multiples are on a higher side, but going forward, I think the revenues are going to double from where uh, and, and this stock is going to go up. Uh, one few more shares which are there in power sector, which I don't own, and uh, but I do track are the new age PSUs like SGVN, uh, you have REC, you have IREDA. They are, they are more into financing part of uh, the projects. But uh, one clarification which I want to give you through this video is a lot of people have misconception that uh, these companies have been given a mandate to put up solar projects in gigawatt scale. Like you have, you, you can see the NHPC tender coming out, SJVN tender coming out, NTPC tender coming out. Uh, but the thing is, they have been given a mandate to, in, uh, to come out with these tenders. So basically, the plants are being put by some other developers and they are acting as a uh, in-between trader. 
uh, where they have the back to back pps with the distribution companies and they make a trading margin out of it so in a way they are acting as a power trading companies not as an installer or developer of those projects which they are coming out uh, with the auctions now uh, so so i am personally not tracking these companies but they do make a, a handsome trading margin so every unit of electricity which is being traded through them they would be making a trading margin of around 6 to 7 paisa uh, whatever being negotiated between the buyer and the seller now few more companies which are very good in this sector uh, people also ask about iex uh, being a single largest power exchange in india so personally i used to hold that stock but now i don't hold it there are there are a lot of news on market coupling which keeps on coming so iex being an exchange i feel that uh, the chances of being uh, going very up is very limited because there are competition coming from other exchanges and 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 end of the day it's a transactional service so uh, so i don't know i mean um, um, in, the good part of iex is that at at this moment in india the short term power being traded in on the exchange is hardly anything it's like 3% of the entire portfolio and uh, the transactions which are happening over exchange going forward this may go up uh, to something around 7 to 10% and if it goes around 7 to 10% so the volume of power which would be transacted through exchanges would be around uh, 2 to 3 times of what it is going ha- going to happen right going ha- going right now so so in a way for every unit of power which is being transacted on exchange they make a margin out of it around 2 paisa 1 paisa so so the revenues are going to double or triple from here what it is right now uh there are few more companies which has gone grown immensely in the uh, power sector in f- last few years is like kpi green then you have gensol then you have uh, wari renewable suzlon energy so these companies are predominantly epc based company and uh, um, they have they grow when they have an order book and these order books comes from the developers so basically they are dependent on the developers to bring them the uh, to give them the business uh, uh, fortunately in india for the next 5 6 years the order book are going to be healthy but the downside is that they face stiff competition from lot of other uh, players in the market so uh, yeah, i mean i personally don't hold these epc companies in my portfolio but yeah definitely they, they, that's a big market where they are playing and india's uh, renewable market is just going leaps and bounds from where it was 2 3 years back so uh, immense potential in these companies also uh last uh, but not the least i think the there are companies on the distribution energy space such as csc then you have torrent power then you have adani transmission also tata power distribution so a uh, distribution being a completely regulated business uh, is a very strong has a very strong entry barrier to it and it's not easy to get a distribution license uh, today so who whosoever has got that they have basically a money making machine with them uh, but the downside on the distribution business is that it has lot of ca- it is a capex incentive uh, intensive uh, business you need to upgrade your uh, existing infrastructure uh, like the transformers like your uh, uh, the cables and uh, wires from time to time going forward uh, all the pa- power transformers are going to be upgraded uh, the overhead lines needs to be through gas insulated system which is like going below the uh below, below the ground so so it has lot of capex uh, involvement and also they are facing stiff competition from rooftop solar and uh, open access uh, power so basically they are eating out their revenue uh, so i don't own, own any of these uh, distribution company at this moment but then uh, if uh, they are also facing lot of challenges from the ev market because lot of plug and play companies have come in which are eating into their ev infrastructure uh, which which predominantly that discoms should have been into but then uh, it's an open market anyone can enter so yeah i mean these are some of the good companies uh, which i tried to mention in this video and if you are owning anything if you have any doubt you can do right in the comment box i'll be happy to give my thought over it um and those who are new to this channel do consider subscribing to this and share the uh, videos with your colleagues and friends who want to have a career in power sector or who wants to know more about the sector so i hope this uh, video helped you in making some firm decision or maybe to give some idea on how these power companies are placed uh, in case you have anything else in mind you can write in the comment box uh, do enjoy the other videos have a good day thank you